Hey guys, Cryptic here, and we are back with some more Little Hope. Again, continuing from exactly where we left off. Just left the bar with the dude that I'm still a little suspicious you of. Make an effort to keep up. Oh god, where'd they go? And that they took off. Wait, let's see. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, that... That may have jump scared me slightly. Why is he walking to the side? Walk that way. I'm almost holding the analog stick completely right to make him go the right way. <laughs> hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. Well, I, definitely I definitely saw someone. Saw someone. One hundred percent. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Fine. You're you're just a bitch. Don't believe me. You two, we need to stick close. What what the hell? That's what I just said. Did you hear that? Let, let, let's not go into the woods, guys. Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Um, let's just keep going. Let's not go into the woods. So I was right, ghosts, and that was that was Tanya, right? The one who slept with the hey, balcony. Wait for us. Oh come on, no, no, not the creepy kids singing. What is that? Oh, probably a bad idea, but let's have a look. Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Do we have to? Alright. Well, we don't, but... Oh. Oh, fuck you. God, she actually got me the time. Sir? Um... Who are you? <laughs> Pray, tell me your name, lady. Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Can we not? Come I don't want to play. No. Come play with what me. Which is trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say, you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Amen. Amen. Come back here. There's someone else out here by the fire. Why? Do I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? How did you guys... You guys didn't see How that? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. You're an ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary... 
did she want to hurt you? Um, I don't no. think so, but she was creepy. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. As much as I dislike the idea, that is probably the only way to go. Also, my um, youngest is just woken up, so if things get a little too scary for her, I'll have to stop. She wants to watch. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I'm playing, if she wakes up, she wants to watch. Oh, the curator again. Well, that escalated rather quickly. <laughs> you don't say. Everything one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Hey, those are probably some of my favorite moments in these games. Talking to the curator. He's l less, than, less than helpful. <laughs> but he's really cool. <laughs> Really love his character. Poor girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. All right, so now we're playing as Angela. I also need to try not not swear <laughs> as much as I usually do, or, or curse for you Americans. Um, alright, this looks creepy and ominous, let's go have a look. <laughs> Mainly because I don't like Angela. The rest of them seem okay, even John. I don't like Angela though. What's this? Postcard? Who's that? Human sacrifice. Who was it? That's not someone from this group, is it? Maybe someone from this group was holding the gun. Ooh. The plot thickens. Just like this fog. You hear that? What was that? It's, it's like a horse. It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're oh, right. didn't like a horse. Oh, 
I have my doubt, doubts. Big ass animal. It was only small. So if not, what the fuck? All right, let's just soldier on ahead. Might get a better view from up there. Really? In All right, well, we'll go on this way then. Okay, Andrew. What's gonna jump out at us? There's a big boom. Ghost towns of the northeast. God, there's a lot to read. Holy. And more. All right, you guys can pause that and read if you want. That is way too much for me. Do you guys know how good my reading skills are? <laughs> How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I think we're in danger. I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? Um, we'll find a way, hopefully. We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. What's down there hiding? What the hell is that? Let's just go away from there. Let's go back to the what's the other guys. <laughs> I don't want to um, push my luck by standing around. Alright. Forwards team. <clears throat> and my cough is still there. Sorry guys. At least we have street lights still and power lights. Oh my god, this lag. What's this? Witch of Edmont Edmonton. Little Hope's Historical Society presents The Witch of Edmonton. A play by W.M. Rowley. Fo Fos Dicker? Fos Dicker? Oh. And John Ford. Performed in historical dress at Little Hope Middle School, Saturday, 17th April, 7 p.m. This be has there or to be do with dead. What we saw? Um, I, I guess doubt it, it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. Personally, I would say the second. <laughs> I'd rather deal with a few ghosts. In a town full of people dressed enough as witches. Oh, well, at least has reported up. I was about to say, why don't we go knock on the door? But no one's home. Or is it just me, or does it get really dark? Okay, it definitely got darker around here. I'm pretty sure that was Megan again. Megan. She's creepy. I don't like her. <laughs> she can stay in the bushes. I mean, why couldn't this game come out like a week early? This would have been perfect to play for Spooktober. Oh, it's a sign. I thought there was a person over there. We have a tractor? Just chilling? And I think we're probably safe for now. Then again, I did screw up and get someone killed pretty early in Man with Arm. Hmm. Creepy bridge tunnel or bush path. Can we move it? Amen to that. So creepy bush. Look at that. 
Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just um. gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. <laughs> what the hell do we do now? I don't really want to go to the bush path. I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Oh, okay. Hero time. Let's go. Oh, I'm coming to. Hold up, I'll come with you. Don't buy yourself spared. Bad idea to go by yourself. And that is why. Hey, you two. Now we're split. This is not good. I knew it. I knew something was going to happen. So I said, sticking together, splitting up is bad. At least there's two of them going. Hey, anyone this there? Way. This is I'm forcing to look this way. I can't. Anyone? Oh, Jesus. Get off uh, me. Run! What is it you want from me? I don't... I want to go home. Are Who you? are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! What, what are, you? are you? What do you want? Black tongue full of riddles. Um, I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I okay, beg you. Rid witch. me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. Wait. You are no husband of mine. Wait, she thinks we're apparitions? Some kind of weird connection between the past and Not now. So far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? Um. I am very far from okay. No? I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. What? Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you uh, kids watch horror movies? You never ever split those up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. Oh man, come on. I'm. I'm, I'm with Andrew. Andrew. I like Andrew. Isn't so far. We all go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is. We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. I don't like the idea of splitting up, but all right, let's go. <sighs> yeah, we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. I like Andrew. I don't trust John. His name was John, right? I'm pretty sure it was John. I don't trust him. I don't know why. And I don't like Angela. Not really. 
That's right. We'll keep going. We'll keep going a little further. Hold up. You hear that? What the hell? What? Why? Why did he run and jump? Thanks. Surprised I, I nailed them. What is it? It's... Are we okay here? We're good. That noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. Yay, creepy bush forest path. You got an explanation. <laughs> just what I wanted to do. Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What the hell was Witches that? Witches burned. Now what? What's up? I'll just talk. Are you okay? You look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... Uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. Um... How do you deal with all How this? How do you deal with all this? I'm a natural survivor. Tough marriage and... an even tougher divorce will do that to you. Of course, I'm sure you've already worked out that there is only one person you can truly rely on. Yourself? Don't give up on us all of us just yet. If we stick together, we will make it out of this mess. I'm not sure about that. You know, you sound just like Daniel. We should catch up with John. I don't like Angel. Maybe I sh Oh, no. Nah. Probably best if she's with these guys. That's like something we have to Andrew, then. He's my favorite okay? so far. Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? Um. Stay positive? I guess I'd try to stay positive. Do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there. You think that was... Really supernatural? Uh, sure yeah. starting to look that way. Definitely that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. This what is happening different. now is nothing like what happened back then. Don't be so fast to dismiss what I'm telling you. That was way different. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. Alright, so this we shit. Maybe we should turn around and get back away from the shit. I would. <laughs> Oh, he's gone. Oh, God. Don't screw up. I don't want Andrew to die. Is 
That is surprisingly tense. <laughs> it was a cat. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Anyhow, there's no one here. But we're gonna have a look anyway. So that's how these go. Oh, modern magic and ritual. <clears throat> Alright. That's always handy to have around the house. You never know, you're gonna need to pour me on satanic ritual. You know, you might need good harvest one year. I, I don't know, I'm just talking because of what's happening. <laughs> Alright, what do we got in here? Oh. I'm not sure how good this is to have. Two missing bullets. Okay, wait. Andrew found a gun in old shack. Poking around. I'm hoping that's a good one. Um, <clears throat> I found a gun. I found this inside. What the hell are you doing with a gun? It was hidden under the floor. You should have left it there. Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. Uh, no, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. This is one crazy night we're having. I mean, who knows? We could need this. What we don't need is to get someone killed. I'll be careful. I promise. <sighs> Men and guns. Make sure the damn thing stays in your pants. I don't want to see it again. I don't like you. I'm. This is my protection. But if I did accidentally shoot someone, I hope it's you. You're, <laughs> I don't like you. I really don't. Place is huh. this? I'm guessing some sort of rituals performed here. We get to the end of this wee section here. They're like back into either next location or on back onto the road. And then I might end this one. Professor? Oh, he, he, he freaking ran. What are you doing over there? Andrew here is packing. What? A gun? Are you crazy? Hey, we need this. We don't know what's out there in the fog. Better to have the gun and not need it than need it and be defenseless. The likelihood of your getting shot goes up dramatically if you are carrying a weapon. Whatever. If the gun makes you feel safe, keep the damn thing. I really don't care anymore. He seems a little different. I shouldn't have told the old bag about it. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Well, I could choose the butt of the gun. I mean, I would. Okay, this one's gonna be a little longer. I just, yeah, I want to get inside here. Now we got something. Ah, oh, we have a rock. Examine. Yes, it's a rock. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at ten paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? 
The frame will have rotted away, and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. I really the don't like strike. you. We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie can make a shot like that? All right, so we've broken the glass. We're gonna go inside. <sighs> Looks safe enough. Just broken glass everywhere. It's all good. Just don't slip. Piece of cake. You're up next. I've seen the old freaking bag in first. I don't like her. I really don't. Have I, have I told you guys that I don't like her? <laughs> All right. Well, we're these two guys now. So I'm going to end this one here. Hope you guys are enjoying this because I'm really enjoying this. I'm loving this. So good. <laughs> yeah, um, if you guys are enjoying this, then make sure you leave a like. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on these characters. And if you haven't already and you want to see more videos in the future, make sure you hit subscribe. Other than that, I will catch everyone later.